Hello and welcome back to Alex Go Sailing and today I'm going to tell you what's wrong with my boat Merakai. Now I just got back from sailing down in the Solent with Merakai, uh, with Sam, and we've discovered a few things we want to change and do as we build the boat, because we only to go out at about 70% complete and uh, still got quite a lot to work with. So, so since we've got out for the test sail, we can, we've discovered what we want to do and what we want to change. <laughs> Big problem number one is the deck drain and the deck drain sits about here so it hasn't got enough uh, gravity fed to actually discharge out of the back so I've got to come up with like a pumping system at the minute it's it's like an electric pump but it can't actually like suck through and prime itself to be able to pump it out which is pretty useless and it's not automatic which is also useless I'm gonna have to come up with something a bit better maybe like a sump box with an auto build pump in it um, so we just pump it out and leave it on if I left it at anchor or something and I won't have to worry about that um, but that leaves a massive hot tub of water well cold tub of water in there like a plunge pool I'll show you a picture of that but that's like oh don't want that because uh, then it could get so high that it start leaking into the boat and get the whole inside wet and I don't want that at all so yeah that's next on the list to fix now another problem on this thing was raising the mast but where the mast sits on the roof and to where we attach the attachment points up the front to put the pulley blocks on the rope is pretty much in line with the mast so it can't get any leverage on so you've got to raise the mast up high enough so you can get some leverage on it to pull it upright now that's a problem because the mast is quite heavy and uh, where we're lifting it from is pretty much close to the pivot point so there's a lot of weight there um, so we're going to have to come up with some sort of system to raise the mast better and so I can eventually do it single handed now the last real problem I had was with the rudder. Um, there's an entire massive mechanism going in through there. It's like a bunch of UJs and stuff um, running down because it's all stainless steel with a massive shaft running down the middle. So you can see I've got my rudder there and it comes up and then in the back of the boat, you can see there's a big shaft going down. It's got a kink at the bottom and uh, there's some UJs in there. And there's quite a lot of resistance in there so when we're sailing along i can take my hand off and it'll hold its course um so there's no writing of the water to say i went well say i fell off the boat it won't write itself into dead wind very well it will eventually but um it doesn't want to flap around and it's a little bit hard to push around so there's some sort of resistance in there maybe it's like a a pin that's uh on the shaft or something that controls that i don't not sure i need to take it apart and have a look I want to get an autopilot for this thing at some point because that'd be pretty cool and much easier when I'm doing single-handed. Now the final issue is the boom furling. Now I had a lot of comments in the, a couple of videos ago where I mentioned the boom furling and that I'll be using it for this sale and uh, some die-hard slab reefers out there and I can understand why because the sail shape is definitely better um, and a little bit more practical um, but really the boom furling is dead handy. You can get mast furling um, but that's not as efficient sail shape when you start reefing. The boom furling is a little bit in between the mast furling and slab reefing. So this boat came with it back in the 70s and it's still got it now. Um, so I'm going to keep it, I'm going to try it because it's probably the only boat that I'm ever going to have that's going to have it and I want to try it out now. And uh, bigger boats, slab reefing has got multiple, multiple benefits than the boom furling or um, mast furling. But on the boom, this one, it's around the boom as well, so it's another challenge. And um, we've also got to make the end fitting because that, that was broken or missing or whatever. Um, so I've got to do that. I'm going to sort out a kicker so I can have a kicker on it because a lot of boom uh, around the boom furling don't have kicker because of the sail goes round and in the way. So I'm going to have like a removal system um, to solve that. Um, also, another benefit for the boom furling is because it's a trailer sailor, I'm taking the mast up and down like every single time I take it out almost and there's a lot of ropes and lines like used for the slab reefing and also if you have lazy jacks in a sail bag and stuff uh, there's a lot of lines to sort out and disassemble and then you have to take the sail off and pack that away uh, which you can't leave it on the boom unless you've got a sail bag which might be a little bit tricky getting it off 
but when you want the speed having that that sail already rolled up around the boom i can just pull the pin and undo the main sheet line and uh bring it in the boat and then take off the topping lift and that's that's me done and unlimited reefing i can leave the battens in do all that stuff so no real problem there so i'm i'm going to try this uh i can always change it back if i want stab reefing or something but i'm gonna try it it's gonna be fun um so leave your comments down below and i'll be interested to hear what you're saying it's already going to be overwhelming for stab reefing but i'm gonna try something different because every boat's got stab reefing now some of the projects that i have coming up um i've got furling system that i want to install and i've got to get new sails then also i've got to fit the flooring um because just painted is not going to cut it uh, finish up the inside I've got to do cushions at some point but I might leave that to further down the line got to do the headlining got to get the LED lights put in uh, got to put the BNG um, wind vane thing on there at the top of the mast as well as an anchor light so that's all got to be run all the wires run down and in through the roof uh, that's going to be a project I also want to change the companionway doors because they're made out of wood I want to have to do like some other material or something then I've also got to fit the water pump uh, and the system is for that then I've got to mount up the batteries properly and also all the wiring, make that all neat and tidy and get the like, electrical box all done up nicely because that's a mess at the minute. Um, we've also got to hook up solar power at some point because that is very important uh, because at the minute we have no way of making power. And we can also hook up the outboard because that produces a charge that I can run from. So that'd be useful as well. So I've got quite a lot on the cards. Um, there's definitely a lot more to come. Now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where I'm going to be wrapping this up for the winter and showing you what I do to do that.